So I wrote this song to you to say I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. I decided to write this song called Thank You to, to express my gratitude to SOS and everybody who has played a role in, in, in my life so far. And also to be the voice of any, any SOS child or any child who just wants to say thank you to anyone who has done something, some good in their lives. So that's like the main reason why I wrote this song. And you came in and rescued me from a hopeless situation. Oh, I got to SOS um, when I was 11 years old. That's I went to SOS in Lesotho, Maseru. I joined, you know, the village after my mama, my mother passed away, and um, yeah, that's how I got into SOS and, and therefore involved with SOS over the years until I was integrated back into my community. You always were my tears and never holding back all you had just to say every day. I grew up with uh, my two older siblings and my four other siblings, four, three, because <laughs> we are six in my family. And uh, it was quite difficult, you know, even when my mother was still alive because she was a single mother. And at some point my mom fell sick. She had HIV and AIDS and uh, that became even more difficult because now I had to take care of her, I had to take care of the family. So during that time it was, it was really tough because uh, I had to look for food, you know, for myself, for the family. So sometimes I would sell things like oranges uh, to make sure that we have something to eat, you know. And sometimes I would go around begging, you know, in the in the village, you know, where I was staying. And uh, sometimes we go hungry, you know. Sometimes we would have days where we would not eat at all, you know. And so it was tough. It was tough. But just knowing that I, I had a mother... It sort of like brought some 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 security, I would say, even though she wasn't really uh, helping in any way at the time to bring anything to the table. Before I went to SOS, I I believe I wasn't I wasn't really thinking a lot about about me and my talents and my passions. I was already, always thinking about where's the next meal coming from. Where's the you know I was always thinking like like that. But now that I I, I could no more think about you know the basic needs, I got the chance to, to really think through my life. I got the chance to, to express myself a, a lot more. So that for me is, is one thing that, that, that I think has always played a role in. And another thing is that I got a lot of opportunities through SOS. I never thought that I would be able to go to university in the first place. And now I'm here dreaming of, of doing my master's and my PhD, you know, which is way beyond what I, I, could, I could dream about, you know. But you came in. Each and every sector of SOS that I've, I've interacted with, I have gotten that, that kind of like love and, and, and care, you know, to, people are saying that we care about you beyond beyond where you are, we care about you, beyond just giving you shelter and clothes. And so for me, that it gave me the, the ability to think and, and, and to explore. I still have a lot of dreams. <laughs> I still have a lot of dreams. I don't, I don't see myself in just one direction, you know. I, I, I would love to pursue my music further. I would love to pursue my studies further. I've always wanted to do psychology, so I, I have the plans of, of furthering my studies in industrial psychology, hopefully next year, and in, in my master's degree and PhD, you know, with time. I wanna say thank you.